Hey guys, my name is Fabe and welcome back to another episode in the Dinosaur Mine. So, as you all remember, am I right? <laughs> you remember, last episode I asked you guys about your opinion about which sort of block I should use for kind of like a futuristic or modern input mechanism for a computer system. And uh, it was a close... No, it wasn't a close call. I'm lying. Two-thirds of you actually said they prefer the lab block, this one here with the dots in between. And I can see why. I think it looks the most like a modern-looking input system. Um, however, I think it would have been cool to have some color in here too. So Obsidian was, I think, the second most with like uh, a couple of votes, but it's far behind everyone else. Uh, far behind the lab. Um, but yeah, I guess I'll go with the with the laboratory blocks for now. I also, big news, actually, I updated the chisel mod. As you can see, it is now taking durability, which is something we didn't know before. And the interface also changed a little bit, so let's do that. Um, as you can see, we put the 2p carved block in here. Let's see, is there any new laboratory blocks? I don't think there's any new textures here. There's a couple of new ones out there. Like, for example, um, let me place it back. Like, for example, uh, if you place a factory block in there, um, those are the ones we had already up to here. I think this was the last one. And um, maybe we had this one too. I'm not sure, but those are definitely new. Neon blue plating, vertical venting, metallic blue circuit plating, and blue wire framing. So those are definitely some new ones. How does the vertical venting look like? Ha! Whoa, 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 whoa. That looks different. That looks exactly like the laboratory block in my inventory. <laughs> that is one weird glitch, isn't it? I don't know why that is. So... I don't know if the mod is glitched or if it somehow if I messed them up while updating it. I don't know. Um, another thing. Oops, sorry, that was my mic. Um, another thing that I was complaining about last episode is the grass growing underwater, and I figured out why that is. That is caused by Optifine. Optifine has this neat little option um, called Clear Water. And I always had that activated because it makes you see a little bit better when you're underwater. What it does, I didn't know that, but what it does is, um, water, if you if you are in water, water I want water block absorbs, I think, two light levels. And um, the clear water effect does get rid of that. So it makes water completely transparent for light, which makes it better to see in. But at the same time, this grass just feels, okay, I'm getting full light level, I might, I, I must be under open air, so I'm gonna grow. And this, I didn't run into this problem before, although I'm using Optifine like for ages and with everything I do. Because I was mostly using it on servers, and on servers, the grass only looks at the server stuff and doesn't care um, how your client treats that. So that's why, oop, this is a single player problem alone. Uh, very interesting. I didn't know about it. So I turned it off and now all the all the grass in my rivers that have grown over Such a long time should die now. Is there grass in there? Not really, but yeah, there are some rivers where it's definitely full of grass Anyways guys today we are actually gonna finally go back to our quintuple spawner setup Lighting glitch I guess looks weird uh, I've done some work on there. Yeah, look at that. All the... Look at that. That was all grass before. It's dying faster than I thought it was. And all of a sudden we have all these reeds here. Which might be a little bit overkill. Maybe I'm gonna go into the better foliage um, config and turn down the rate. I think that's something that is possible with this mod. Yeah, because that is a whole lot of reed. This was all grass here. I remember that. And now it's all gone. That's weird. Such a graphical setting can change the whole the whole appearance. But that's cool. Um, I'm gonna keep it like that for now, and I might adjust that um, as we go on. 
But as I said, let's go back to the spawners. I've done a little bit more work. I think the last thing I showed you, um, I finished the elevator, right? The zipper elevator. I think this is the last thing I actually showed you. Was that last episode? Or was it already two episodes ago? I think it was two episodes ago. But yesterday night, I spent like hours and hours and hours in there. Um, getting some work done, getting some layout done. And I'm actually really happy with it. Oh, before we go there, let's quickly stop by our favorite, well, not favorite, our least favorite uh, place here with all the chisel blocks. And uh, there, I don't know if there's a lot of changes. I haven't noticed any major ones, except a lot of them are missing now. Like, I got the warning message, okay, there are a couple of block IDs that are not current anymore, so these blocks will be removed. Uh, I made a backup before, so I wasn't too worried about it. But it seems like these blocks here, they lost a couple ones. Also, the hex plating blocks look a lot different now. They look a lot less intense. But, at the same time, I like them a lot more now. Like, they look a lot more realistic and a lot less... Oh, they're even animated, do you see that? Like, it's, it looks like it's flowing. So that makes me actually want to use them more. Um, another thing that the chisel now can do, if I, I think, left-click on one... There we go, you see that? I can change it on the fly. That... Ooh, wow! Zoomed in? Are you kidding me? That is insane, I didn't know that. That is pretty crazy. Oh my god, we could do some cool floor patterns with the zoomed in ones. I mean, the black zoomed in ones? Maybe! That could be a cool pattern for a building and if you, I might even use that downstairs. The thing about these hex plating blocks is they are freaking expensive. Because one hex plating block requires one coal block and eight stone blocks. I don't know if you remember this door. This is basically uh, the door to Anakin's enclosure. But now it also has this walkway over here, which is basically a shortcut. And here's the elevator where it comes up. And this is where I got out before all the time. I might still make a way down there, just for shortcut's sake. But I think the main one that I'm going to use is the small one over here. I couldn't make it any bigger because the stair has to start here, otherwise we won't get high enough. Um, so I had to use like these uh, wedges in the corner here. But I think it's alright. I'm not done, of course. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a water drop here. All the way down. And this is what I was working on. Um, so as you can see, I changed the design quite a bit. I decided to go with the factory blocks and make this really look like um, like kind of a danger area where you got to be very careful what you do and it's only for school personnel <laughs> the uh, access to this area here. And uh, I, so this, this framed in area is where all the spawners are active. So this is where I can stand. On this line here. As soon as I go on the stairs, I think the, the one back there. No, this still works. There we go. As I go down the first step, um, the spawner stops spawning stuff in. So, as long as I'm on this level here and within um, the, the marked off area, all the spawners are active. If I step out here, this one stops being active and the one down there too. But uh, you can still look at the skeletons. Skeletons have been spawning like crazy while I was building here. Um, I think we have access to the chest down here. This is all not done yet. There's a chest. Yeah, we have so much stuff from those already. I'm um, still quite... Haven't quite figured out the kill point here. We might do that later today. We'll see. Um, I wasn't really sure about these stairs, but since I already built this whole elevator out of these stairs, should we try it? I'm always nervous every single time if it actually works. But it seems to work fine most of the times. Um, earlier I, I had trouble again. I think it is really, I think I said that already, it's kind of like, um, it can fail caused by the memory. And for that case, I'm gonna leave the ladder there, just in case I can't res restart Minecraft and I wanna get up a little bit faster. I'm gonna make a door in here and then I can go up the ladder. But this wall here is gonna be uh, filled in too. Like, we won't be able to access the ladder through the elevator itself. So we will have to go down here. And also, this might also be for maintenance, just in case something goes wrong. And we can also access the, the mineshaft back here if we want to. 
through this door. But I haven't figured out what kind of block type I want the, the back side of the elevator to be covered in. And this is all reinforced glass. I think I mentioned that too, because it's the only uh, really option that is clear glass. Um, there's actually a glass wall going around the corner. This could have been stone, but I really wanted to see those two spawners, especially the one in the back, so I made this all glass. I hope the spiders won't get stuck there. I haven't tried the water streams out at all. This is all still just theory. So, I haven't removed torches, I haven't seen anything spawn. This is gonna be very interesting. But before we do that, what I actually want to do is set up kind of like a control panel. Like a couple of levers or buttons, I don't know, yeah, probably levers actually, it's easier. Um, that will activate like all kinds of lamps in these spawners. So I can turn them off. I'm not sure if I'm gonna want to turn them off individually. Or if I want to have, I'm definitely going to have a, a separate one for the skeleton. But I'm not sure if I'm going to have those all turn off separately. Or maybe I'm going to have a turn off cave spiders, turn off normal spider one. I might separate those. Although I'm not quite sure how I would handle the, the spider one. I don't think I can completely turn this one off. Because I can only put lamps in the corners. And I can't really put one there. At least not automated. Automated. So, I might just be able to reduce the spider spawning, but I don't think I'll be able to turn off completely, um, remotely at least. So that is kind of my goal. And uh, my other goal for today is getting these walls done, getting the floor figured out. And I think I do have some hex plating blocks here. Ooh, brown plating. They changed. They changed. They were actually like cyan stained ones, now they are brown. And I used those first where the factory blocks are now, but I, then I replaced them with the factory blocks because I thought they looked cooler. Wow, look at that. Yeah, that's definitely a lot more options than there was before. Let's use the black large plating. And... Oh, that looks... I kinda like it. I'm a little bit on the fence about it. Because it doesn't connect nicely to the, to the border. That is actually kind of trippy, isn't it? I mean, I kind of like it. So what would it look if I would connect it directly to a factory blocks and get rid of this rim here that I had going? That might be cooler. I might go with that. Would that be cool? You guys tell me. It's, it's definitely a very, very expensive floor pattern because every single one is basically one coal block. And what I could do, actually, if I make this all black, I could make, I could replace those uh, bricks here too with a colored one. So kind of to kind of like indicate, okay, this is the area where the spawners are active, and this is the one where they are not all active. Kind of like along those lines, I might do that. Maybe they are more suited for walls, though. I mean, hmm, should I try it on this wall here? This is kind of like my, this is the wall that I wanted to be the control wall. Where I have the redstone going in all directions. Um, hmm, I could also do that. No, I want it. I want it here. I think this is a good size for a control panel, and then I can I don't know do some decorative stuff on this side of the wall. That might be cool. You know what? I think I want to get to work on this, and I'll bring you guys back in once I made some progress. Yeah, I think I like it better as a wall pattern. I'm pretty happy with that actually. It looks kind of cool. I also set up some lighting, as you can see, for the skeletons and for the spiders, however, it doesn't seem to be quite 100%. I don't know where else I have to put lights, I might have to go around and put some in the corners. The spiders worked out pretty good, I have... Ah, crap. I think the problem with that one is that the lamps are actually two blocks above the spawner. But I even saw one spawning over here, so I don't quite know. I might have to put some more lamps in, in some places. But... Wait, did, did you just hear a skeleton too? What's wrong with that? Maybe I have to put lamps in these walls too. But yeah, basically it's pretty simple how I did it. Um, we have three redstone torches for the three different levers. Ooh! The other lever is missing. Haven't crafted it yet. That should help. Well, probably won't help, but uh, let's see. Let's see. Let's see it, okay? Light on. Light off. And immediately skeletons are spawning like crazy. So that's the bottom one. The central one. 
turns off the the four down day. Why is there still light? Do you see that? Is there still a torch on that spawner? Almost looks like it, doesn't it? Well, anyways, if I turn off the top one, everything goes dark and the craziness begins. There's still light down there, though. I have to take a look at that. Oh, and I gotta put slabs on top of the spawners. I forgot to do that. Um, but yeah, that's definitely helping. So let's put that on again. Both of them. So we don't get any spawns. Why is there light down there? Let's go down there and see. I think, yeah, this should be the way. Hmm. Where could that be coming from? Did I leave a hole here in the wall somewhere? I don't think I did. Okay, we might have to break one in. Uh, Silk Touch almost gone again. Hello, peekaboo. I don't see a torch on that thing. Not from either side. I have no clue where that light source is coming from. Maybe... Maybe it's coming from all the way downstairs at the killing point. Um, I can't get to there from here, so I gotta go back up. And, oh, I wanna show you, like, the setup I have on top, if possible. I have to go up here. It's a mess, it's a mess, but it's working! Which is the most important thing, right? So we got redstone going here. This is the spawn on the right, and then we got uh, the double spawn on the left here. And, as I said, I might have to put, like, a lamp in between, but since it's an even number, I didn't quite know how to place a, a nice lamp in between. I might have to adjust some things. But you guys get the idea. It's pretty simple. It's just a long redstone line and uh, three levers here. Let's check the, the killing point is what I wanted to. Maybe... Oh yeah, block that off just with dirt because uh, I didn't get this done yet. I will need them to despawn. Maybe... It, oh yeah, look at this torch there. That might have been the, the light source. Why is there a torch in the first place? I don't know. I can't open this up now because otherwise I will be dead within seconds. But yeah, I like the wall. Using that stuff in the wall now really does not help me, though, with getting the floor f uh, figured out. Close that off. So this is gonna be the wall. This cobweb! I don't know. And at first I thought, okay, I'm gonna leave it. Maybe it's gonna be kind of cool. I mean, we are on the ground here and there might be some spiders in the corners of the room. Um, but it's really bright and it kind of catches the eye too much. Also... This is not very symmetrical, is it? <laughs> Maybe we should have put them all one up, but I can't reach them all the way up there. So it's like the only way I can do it. Maybe I'm gonna put a sign on there. But yeah, we got all three levers there, which I really like that we have this control panel for all the lights. And I guess next up... I should really clean this out first. Oh, did I show you that? I used the wireframe for the back here. I haven't done it here on the front, but I will. Let me see, can I...? Like that? That's perfect, okay. Because now... Ooh, I don't have the blocks on me though. Well, back down we go. Gotta get those. Wireframe, block of coal, factory blocks, here we go. That's not gonna be enough, but let's see how far we get. The good thing is, I can jump out whenever I want. Or whenever I can, much rather. Um, I guess we'll have to... Put one... In the yellow black hazard mode like that and then we can go and use the wireframe once for this one so we're gonna have the same in the back and the front i think it's nice it's i mean you will only see it while going by really fast so it doesn't matter too much but i think it's a good color and it has a nice texture so i'm gonna go with it okay it's been a couple of days now i think between those clips i actually for the first time for the first time since we stopped using shaders, I got a world, I got a computer crash, not a world crash, a computer crash, and this world got corrupted. So we had a couple of corrupted chunks that I had to fix again, but it seemed it worked out. I don't think I lost anything. Um, MC added for the win, and I just finished up the top area here. Well, almost finished up the top area of the elevator. Um, I'm having kind of an issue here. So I think I showed you this water drop here. Whee! And I finished the walls and the ceiling up here, um, so it looks nice. We got the door here to the ladders, emergency ladders and redstone access. And, um, oh yeah, I did also a bunch of stuff here. Did the ceiling, uh, still no lighting. The control wall is done, I think I showed that already, possibly. 
maybe. I don't remember now, to be quite honest. But I think I showed that off. We can turn out the lights. This cave spider starts spawning, which was probably a bad idea right about now. So let's turn that back on. Ooh, I still haven't put the slabs on there. Forgot about that part. Um, ooh, oh, that's why I had these two on me. These two factory blocks. I didn't fill that in. Let's make some more then. And uh, one thing I wanted to do, uh, I was at least thinking about doing, is so when this elevator fails, sometimes it fails only if I'm almost up there, then I fall all the way down and die. Like that happened a lot that I died here. So I thought if I could maybe install somewhat, somewhat of a water break here. I mean, the easiest solution would be slime blocks, of course. Oh yeah, that's why I got rid of the stair here too. I remember now, that's what I was working on last. And I thought about, hey, could we not maybe, while the elevator is running, um, take away the bottom blocks and... Okay, how would we do that? So the stair would be right here. So we would need a piston like this, which is kind of up against this wall, so the cabling might be a little problematic. Take away the stairs, like that. So it pushes it in, it leaves it there until I go up and then it takes it away. And I also want this block to go. This might be more troublesome, possibly. Okay, where would we take this block? There's there's redstone on here. There is... I guess I could double extend it in this way, but that would be kind of a waste, wouldn't it? You know, maybe I could get away with something... No, I wouldn't. Although I might be able to. So, if I extend this piston, let's do the test here. And I'm, I apologize for being a little bit redstone heavy. That doesn't do it. Uh, oh, crap! It's a trap! How do I do that? How do I power this piston without powering anything else? Um, I guess I should be able to do it like this. Yeah, this redstone still connects through the piston, so that's no problem. So, I can do that. Um... And only if it retracts it, maybe I put a delay on it, the signal should already be through before it gets cut off by this piston. And then I should be able to set up a timer, and then what I can have down here, basically, is... Like that. And like that, and we're gonna put one here, and then I can have water in there. So if I fall down, in case the elevator should fail, so what I'm doing is basically building a failsafe. Then I should be able, I might have to break through the wall here. Hello wall, I'm sorry. Let me break through here. In this case, I also like to climb the, the glass here, but I think eventually they all drop down from what I've seen. Okay, so... That's wrong. Oh crap, I was one too high, wasn't I? No, what? Why are you powered? Ooh, that might be an issue. It's powering both at once. And they need to be alternated, alternately powered. I think I'm gonna figure that out off camera, guys. That's gonna be a... that's gonna be a little bit of brain work. Wow! That took some brain work, but I think I figured it out! So we got the elevator here, which is probably gonna fail right now, because I haven't played for a bit. But what happens is, it goes up, and then it retracts. We got water down here, and after a while... After a while, it resets. Let's try this out. Oh, maybe I should fill water in. Should I? <laughs> Might be not such a bad idea. I probably won't make it up that far at all. Okay, let's put water in. It shouldn't run out because then all my redstone will be gone. And this redstone got really complicated. Gonna sh Ooh. Major flaw. The water source. Wait. Why did it not... Did it not reset yet? Is that a problem? There we go. I need to put the water source in here, but then it should work fine. Hello, Enderman. How are you today? Hope you're having a wonderful day. Should I steal this water source? Probably not. It will be dangerous. I need. Is there any water source I can take? I don't think so. Not without entering the lines then here. Um. All right. Let's try the elevator. Ooh, you see? And I would have fallen right down in there. So I think it would work. Hello, Enderman. I didn't look at you, did I? Let's climb up there and grab some water manually and we can try it out. So, <laughs> um, I'm gonna show you the redstone in a bit here. 
Uh, you probably won't get it. It's it's. I'm gonna show you the components, but it's got really messy down there. And if it ever stops working, I don't think I'll be able to fix it at that point. I mean, right now I know what each thing does, but I'm pretty sure I'll forget about that in a in a little while, because this redstone really gets out of hand uh, fast if you're not careful. And if you're not very organized and label stuff, and I'm not very organized and I don't label stuff. So they have that. Um, but if I look down here now, it should be closed off. Yeah. Alright, let's take the real water drop here. Go down. Boop. And the man's still here. Um, okay, let's open this up. Let's place water on this side so it shouldn't get um, uh, destroyed, the water source now. It is flows, but that's not too bad. Okay. Let's try this. Ooh, seems like it's gonna work. And the water's already gone by the time I... So I might have to put the timer on a longer delay here. Let's go back down. And try it one more time. I kinda want it to fail now. Of course now it will not fail, will it? There it fails. Pop in the water. I jump out. And it closes. Yeah, I might want to put the timer a little bit longer, because as you s uh, I don't know, it might be fine. Okay, going up. Fail, fail now! Fail now! It's not gonna fail, is it? Oh, it failed! Perfect! <laughs> Alright, guys, the timing is not quite perfect yet, <laughs> is what I gather from this result. Quick redstone time here. So what I did is, we got our normal line out from the button, which is this line here. And this one goes up there to the pistons, and I actually branched off this line here. So this is the only branch off I have from the button. I go through this repeater, it goes into this hopper timer here, which I need to... Ooh, why is there redstone in here? Alright, 16 is not enough, let's make it 20. 20 should be enough, hopefully. We're gonna try it out here soon. I should probably also get rid of this, which will not give it another one. So we got this hopper timer here. And I had to run the lighting system. This line is coming from the lighting system to light up the, the like spider spawner on the bottom. And I had to put that down a little bit and uh, wiggle it through here. But uh, we got one line here from the um, hopper timer. And this one is getting inverted here. Going in here and then it's going up a torch tower right to this torch there, which is activating the piston to the block. And at the same time, I am trapped now, which is just glorious. Okay, let's go through here. Um, let's place that back. Let's get the repeater back in. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, and the other line is taken from here. So as you can see, they are inverted, which is just the way I needed it to be because of all the torches I used. There was not really a way to change it. I mean, it, it doesn't matter, actually. It does, really doesn't matter. It's just an inverted thing. Um, and this one is coming up here, into this torch, into this torch, into this torch, and this torch here is powering the piston where the stair is on. So, yeah, that is how that works. The biggest problem was getting the lighting around without it interfering with any of this redstone, because we have a lamp right behind that stone, and I needed to get somehow through there, and if I break any of these blocks here, there's gonna, water behind this, there's gonna be water behind this wall. Okay, let's get up. Um, we changed the timing a little bit. What I didn't try actually out yet is if every all the lamps are still working. So you can see all four lamps still work. Let's use this one. And all four lamps turned off without anything happening here. So that's the goal. They should not influence each other. Okay, let's try this out again. Let's try and wiggle a little bit so maybe we can get it to break. Nope, it went too well. Perfect! That's a perfect timing, actually, because even if I make it all the way to the top and accidentally step back in, um, it just is enough time for me to not die. So, wow. That was a lot of fun. I don't know if you guys enjoyed it, enjoyed it as much as I did, but I sometimes I really enjoyed this um, problem-solution part of the game, where you have to add just a tiny little detail. It took me quite a bit of time, actually, but I think it turned out exactly the way I wanted it. Um, because I was dying so often when this thing is failing, and now we have a saved off. Come on, was that the Enderman? No, I think that was me myself. Um, so that is really happy. We can still use the ladder if we really need to, but at least we won't die now if we fail and lose all the XP. Can you imagine? We were grinding here for a while, finally got up to level 30, 
and then use the elevator just to lose all the experience again. Talking about that, I might set up like an enchantment room here too. Because why should I have to go all the way back all the time um, if I just want to enchant something? I don't want to risk losing all my levels on my way back to the lab, right? So I might set up something like that. I don't know, maybe I'm going to set it up down here. Maybe I'm going to set it up up here. I don't know yet. But I think we ran out of time for today. Uh, we accomplished a couple of things. Things that I didn't expect to accomplish. We had a world crash that I had to fix, which cost us some more time as well. Uh, I hope... I hope in one of the next episodes we can finally get to the killing problem, which is another problem I don't really know how to solve yet. Um, I'm probably gonna go with damage potions, is what I'm thinking right now, but I haven't completely decided on it yet. Anyways, I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode, because I definitely did, and I hope to see you all again in the next episode of the Dinosaur Mine. Until then, have a nice day, and seriously guys, don't be daft! Play some Minecraft. So today, I think we're gonna decorate the compi enclosure a little bit, and we might even get our first one going. I'm not sure how how far we can go with that. I didn't realize that our other Dinonychus was apparently also gray when we hatched them in the desert on the other side of the river here. I totally forgot about that, and I still can't remember it. Um, Maybe I need to go back to the episode to check that actually out. And let's take a look at it. Oh, it's updating. Look at that. This is so awesome. I love seeing maps updating. But look at that. Already. Already. So much more alive and beautiful. Come. Oh, look how small he is. Look how small he is and how fast. I doubt we'll ever see you again if I, if I don't keep my eye on you.